welcome. <laughs> I am so happy to be here this morning with Nita Bowen, uh, mm -hmm. my beautiful friend from Holland. And because every Wednesday I'm just feeling to have a strawberry inspiration morning and to just share the, the vibe and the joy of our upcoming uh, Strawberry Fields Forever Music and Enlightenment Festival. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I just feel so, so happy that Neto is coming. <laughs> and um, yeah, I want to just introduce her a little by um, sharing with you just, yeah, my experience of how Jesus brought her into our lives and, mm -hmm. and what a gift she is. Um, and then we're just going to have some fun and over the next half an hour or so and yeah, just share from our heart and invite you into what's coming up this summer. So yeah, we were over in, in Europe and um, Neda reached out to David. So this is from my experience of it, of how it all happened. And, and I remember David was there and he got this email and he was like, wow, I just received this email from this um, young woman, Neda, and he, he showed us like a YouTube of you singing, <laughs> Neda, <laughs> and we were just blown away. We we're like, wow, this is incredible. And then um, Neda shared with us the story of, of how she'd been, you know, the voice of Holland and been singing all her life and um, very, very talented and then came into A Course in Miracles and then Jesus basically had her walk to her piano you know, <laughs> and sit down at her piano where the course book was open at a lesson and basically just download a song, um, one song, like day after day after day. And, and so these incredible teachings and workbook lessons were um, made into beautiful, beautiful songs that, and you might mm -hmm. like to share a little bit about that, Neda, but just the experience for you, how healing that was. And then basically when you reached out to David, you said, okay, I have this album and I don't know what to do with it because <laughs> I, I know it was, it was all for me <laughs> and I've received it. And now, you know, I know it's got to go further than, than just me. This, I can feel it is to be shared with the world. And of course, you know, David is just one of these, um, yeah, he just said, of course, you know, we're, we're in Europe, come play sing at, at a gathering and I think the first gathering where we met you was um, there in Holland yeah with the miracles in contact group yeah and it was a huge group they actually come together once a month and so there were a couple of hundred people there like for the first gathering there where you got to come and share um, share your music so that was my introduction um, yeah to Jesus bringing you in in our direction and then from there it just feels like yeah it just feels like that was the the first step um, and then you came over to our mystery school last year and I really want to share a bit more about that about what happened and the gift that you were for some of the participants there at the mystery well all of us but in particular <laughs> with the voice liberation that you do with some of the participants because it was life-changing and I mean life-changing mm -hmm. their experience with you um, and since then yeah we, we had a retreat together in France and now you you came over to the Course in Miracles conference and that was another opportunity to just shine your light and sing some of these Course in Miracles songs again in front of a bigger yep. audience um, so I just feel like the spirit Jesus, like right up underneath you right now, just saying you're a gift and I want your gifts to be shared <laughs> with as many as possible. And um, here's some mighty companions, living miracles, they're with you. <laughs> and oh, yeah. like wind beneath your wings to help you fly because it's such a joy for all of us. <laughs> so that's how I feel about you. And um, yeah, I'm just so grateful that, that Jesus has brought you <laughs> into our lives. <laughs> I oh, love you. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so great for all of you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it, it is. Yeah. It is funny. I can. I remember that day where I sang at the the Miracles in Contact event with David and where I met you for the first time and I remember saying like yeah this is my coming out like I'm finally ready to share these songs Mm -hmm. and then I remember somebody walking up to me or like not just one person like a lot of people asking like oh is there a CD and I really thought like CD like you think I'll record these songs (laughs) like yeah it was like a tiny coming out of just daring to sing these songs in front of a chorus crowd but I still had so much forgiveness lessons to do with like just the words that are used in the song with God and spirit and son of God and salvation like all these Christian terminology that I had so much problems with so it was really funny that I really really never thought at that time that I would ever make a CD out of them and um yeah well, the CD is almost finished now, and <laughs> it's like just so beautiful. Like I don't even feel like it's me that I, I had anything to do with it, and it's just I'm every every time I listen to it, I, I myself I'm like, wow, this is just I'm just so grateful to be a part of this. That's really how I feel, and it really doesn't feel like my my CD. It's like just something that. I, I was open apparently to 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 receive and to work on and yeah to receive just so much support from from all around the world and from you guys and it's just it's been a quite a trip <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm just so grateful that I can do this. Oh, it's beautiful, Nita, because I mm. yeah and that part in the course where Jesus describes in the development of trust you know you go through all these phases of sorting out. And they can be um, disjunctive and uncomfortable, <laughs> as we know. <laughs> and then you go through, <laughs> you come to a period, thank you, Jesus, where he says a period of settling down and it's like a period of respite. Um, and he says, the teacher of God has not quite gone quite as far as he thinks he has yet. There's still quite a few more phases to go. However, from this point, because of all the sorting out of the valuable from the valueless, you right. will not go on from here a lot alone. Like from this point, mighty companions will be right. beside him. And and so I feel that, you know, when yeah. there's a certain point, it's like a turning point in the journey yeah. where, you know, you, you just shift into like, wow, okay, this is my calling. And I say, uh, I say I yes, like I say yeah. yes. And then it's like, boom, all the, all the support the universe can like come and join us and be with us and that's where it becomes really joyful it's really the the collaborations where we get to i don't know the healing becomes so much about the joy and mm. and shining the light together and healing the blocks through right you know through being uplifted together and what it is exactly. that we're being called to do yeah. right the light has come <laughs> That's a great name for a song, maybe even a <laughs> CD. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I can finally feel the title of my album, "The Light Has Come." I've, I've been telling people like I, I gone through this phase of when I was recording it. I told everybody I should change the album to "The Darkness Has Come." <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I just felt like. I really had to go through that seeming darkness to yeah. to be able to just fully step step into the light and to really embrace the light. Of course, yeah. I feel like that's and that's what it is. Like it's such an authentic journey. It's through the darkness to the light and so even like every song that's being produced, everything that we're involved in, it's still about allowing the healing of our mind, you know, every step of the way and and that's what I know in you. That's what I instantly recognized. Like we're we're really in this for no other reason. It's truly for us to awaken and then right. to let let Jesus, you know, use use us in the way that's also a blessing, you know, to bring the light into our minds and into the world. But it 
first and foremost, it's, it's just got to be about that. So, yeah, I'm grateful you hung in there with every song. Yeah, so that the fruits of that healing <laughs> yeah. are, are what are shared. And yeah, so I wanted to share a little about the, um, yeah, what happened at the mystery school. Um, because I'm just going to grab my charger real quick. I see that I'm almost. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's I'm important. Please share. Like, one second. Okay. <laughs> Before we. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we're back. And I don't know if you can feel the comments, Neda, but there's just tons of comments. We have 217 love hearts. So far. <laughs> wow! Of comments All right, of joy. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's great. Love has come as my favorite lesson. Such a joy. Tearing up oh, here, people are crying, speaking to me. Thank oh, you. so much love, everybody. I almost forgot that we were live. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, because um, with the mystery school, which is, uh, yeah, was an opportunity for you to come and, and sing, and you were sharing your songs often, like before each of the gatherings um, that we were doing there or before the expression sessions um, and as yeah the expression session uh, healing sessions that that we had at the mystery school and um, yeah they're really an opportunity for for everyone to open up and and heal share the thoughts that are in their mind and be transparent and it was just such a gift to have you there to share a song like, because every one of your songs was basically an invitation from the Holy Spirit to, to open up, to just open up to the truth and lay down defenses and dare to trust in the Holy Spirit. And not just the lyrics, but when you sing, you know, it's, it's such a gift with a capital G. Like, I, it's your calling, and therefore it, it like it's vibrationally, even it's coming, mm -hmm. it's coming from such a pure place of, of this vibration of love and healing, and just that in itself was a, was a huge gift. And mm -hmm. I know at the festival you're going to be sharing, you know, your your whole album and all of these songs, and and so we're just going to have this opportunity to they bathed in your music and your presence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then the other way that you were there at the, the mystery school was offering the voice liberation um, sessions. And, and so I think at the festival, it would be beautiful, like for, for everyone who wants to participate, we can do some whole big group sessions. There may be 150 people. <laughs> Um, yeah. But Why yeah, not? yeah, just really opening up as a group to to singing, and and I know some of the songs you sing are just the chance, you know, um, where you have everyone starting to sing in harmony and in choruses and rounds, and it's just yeah, I love the whole participation and collaboration purpose yeah, well, in the festival too, because it really is an invitation for everyone to just really dive in and experience it, you know, for themselves. Yeah. And then the voice liberation, because the heart song workshop that you will do after the festival um, will be a smaller group, more with this focus. Um, but yeah, I just even wanted to share with you and with everyone about the effect that, that that had. I talked with Calico this morning, who's here in our community. Um, and she did a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session with you for singing. And mm -hmm. she um, was sharing with me that she had such a deep love for singing. She actually opened up to, um, way earlier in her life, she wanted to sing the blues. And she had was opening to singing lessons. And it was part of her, her calling and her joy to sing. And then she later on, she got um, cancer and some physical uh, difficulties and illnesses in which um, she couldn't access the air in her lungs, she couldn't breathe very well, and there's no way that she could sing. 
and then as you know she um, had a or had you know has a tumor still in her in her belly and she was in such fear she was sharing with me this morning that she her stomach was like a rock and all her thoughts about the tumor were of fear and then she did a voice liberation one-on-one -on -one session with you <laughs> and yeah I just had emotion just sharing about it because it was so transformational for her to even to just let a sound out and she said when she first started to, to let a sound out she said it sounded it sounded like a wounded animal it was just like the only sound that could come out was like a, a cry and you just joined with her and this is what the Holy Spirit does with each of us it, the Holy Spirit comes up underneath whatever it is that we have to offer for healing and just says I'm with you I'm with you I'm with you let me join with you and support you to lift this to heal this and that the sound in her as you joined with her and played the piano with her it just got stronger and stronger and clearer and clearer she said until it went from being like this terrible sound to a tune no it actually became a note that was sung and then beyond that then you had her actually singing to this part of her like or this part that needed to be healed that was within her the way there'd been so much fear to like just mm -hmm. open up to a loving approach to the healing um, and yeah and she said it was just it was just she said it since then her stomach has been soft mm, that's so beautiful to hear <laughs> and she can she said she couldn't even put her she was a massage therapist before but she didn't even dare touch her stomach it was like whoa what is that and and now she can like it's it's okay she can just like touch and hold and move and observe thoughts like what am I thinking what do I feel and since then the music has just really opened up for her too Emily started a choir at our community in La Casa and now Calico is all inspired about getting some three and four part harmonies going oh, so, yeah. oh that's so beautiful mm. and you tell the story so beautiful it makes me see it all over again mm -hmm. I really like that session as well mm. that was beautiful mm. yeah yeah, it's so profound because I, I I really feel like that we're all we're all finding our voice, like our true voice, which is the Holy Spirit. You know, and right. This true voice to which really is our light to to be able to be channeled through us. Um, yeah. And yet the way to that is is we have to allow all of the the clearing of the channel. And the blocks to that and I remember the first time you shared with me I said yeah what are, what is voice liberation and you said well it's like an expression session <laughs> actually but with sound and I thought that was yeah that was a perfect description so yeah how is it I remember you? saying that but that sounds pretty good <laughs> 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 I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah, to tell me because I'm like, yeah, I get it. I get that. I understand. Yeah. And then your part as the facilitator in that is, is yeah. You know, when you share about it, it's exact. It's true empathy. Like you're literally just there in yeah. true empathy, being used yeah. by the spirit. So, do you want to share anything about that at all? Yeah, it has been so beautiful for me as well because I I did do. Um, a two-year school, like a voice liberation school. It's uh, it's in Amsterdam. It's this guy that started up the whole voice liberation thing. His name is Jan Korty. He's a he's a great teacher as well, and he has this two-year education, um, this two-year school to just guide people into. The first year is more just to liberate your own voice, and the second year is really focus on um, becoming a teacher, becoming a voice liberation teacher, and I. I started doing that school when I was doing my Bachelor of Music because in the second year of doing my Bachelor of Music, I just felt so like 
there was almost no joy for me anymore in singing because I felt like in the school it was all just so focused on performing and and like not performing on stage but performing on a high level and you like the the test that you had to do was like singing in front of the teachers that were there with a notebook and it just you know being graded for singing and it was it was very stressful I felt and I felt like like all the love that I had for singing and all the ease that I felt from since I was small was kind of going away and I really felt like oh I want to quit and then this school came on my path and I was like wow I just instantly felt like I need to do this and you know I didn't have money for it and I just instantly I asked like okay how am I going to pay for this and I had some rich uncles in Iran and I just I was like asking them like would you like to sponsor my first year and I went to the other uncle like would you like to sponsor my second year and like they were like oh we're so honored that you're asking us to to sponsor this like uh, it all just worked out and I remember the first time that I received homework from from that school and I just started crying because I felt like this is the first time that I'm in a school where the teacher is giving me homework that is for my soul and that is not for my brains or to just prove how good I am or whatever is it's purely for 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 my development of just everything that I want to develop and it was so great and I really used it to just um, be free in that school in the other school in in my bachelor of music so like the next time that I had my test it was amazing. I, I took off my shoes and like the teachers were sitting there and I was just waiting and I was like closing my eyes and just in this whole space and like I just sang effortlessly and it was amazing. Like the teacher, the teachers were all like astonished and they were like, oh, like before you started, I felt this energy in the room and like for them it was, it was I, I even did my thesis about it and it was really great. Um, but I never actually... Um, use like I never actually did what I did in the in the in the tabula rasa uh, retreat um, because I only more used it for myself for to be free on stage so that was actually the first time where before that I just felt inspired like I feel like it's time that I'm, I'm, I would actually do something with it to guide other people in this as well uh, which I never actually really did um, other than in the in the school we did have to do on each other, practice a little bit. But the funny thing is at the Tabula Rasa school, like when I was doing the first session, I don't even remember who it was with, but that was the first time where I experienced the guidance so amazingly clear. Like there is nothing that I ever done where I received guidance that clear, at least of course I, I am, but the channel is still like clocked up by my own thoughts and everything. But I think because I just really didn't know what to do and I would fully surrender and just sit like okay what do you want me to do with this person you know I know I, can, I know I can sing I know I can play piano okay what what do you want me to do and the guidance that I would receive would come so so clear um, that already after that first session I was like wow I really don't need to do anything <laughs> like it was exciting for me like the, this is I don't need to prepare I don't need to wow this is great <laughs> So then, you know, the next person came and again, there's something totally different, but like so clear, like even now say this, you know, let him sing this, let him, you know, no, instead of this word, let him sing this word and everything like so clearly. And I would, I would just sit back and, and yeah, it, it was amazing for me, for me to see. It was very healing for myself as well. Yeah. And I think one of one of the most beautiful ones that I, I remember, well, they were all very, very beautiful, but one that I really saw, well, there are more where I saw the ship right in front of me, but one that I feel talking about now was um, with Kenneth. Um, you remember him in the beginning that he was, he was pretty angry and he had a lot of rage going on and he didn't want to express in the expression sessions and... He was throwing rocks and screaming instead. And I remember Jenny bringing him up to me, um, like, are you open for a session with Kent? And 
I felt kind of like this anxiety, like, oh, am I ready? <laughs> you know, like, shit, like, if, I, if I'm doing this, I have to do it right, like, kind of like that. And then I, and then I remember him, uh, you know, like, screaming at me almost, like, what is this voice liberation thing about? What is this, actually, you know? And, like, is it okay if I just scream? And he was like, are you afraid of me, Netta? And I was like, no, no, it's okay. You know, if you want to scream, you can just scream. It's all good. It's all... And um, then we drove down to the little cabin, and I, I, I felt, like, a little nervous. And I was like, I, I kind of have, like, oh, I only have one shot. This is my only opportunity. If I not ruin this, then he, he, he won't have faith in anybody, and it's, it's over for him. And, you know, like, this is my only chance to maybe see it, let him see something different or whatever and um so then I sat down at my piano and then I remembered like oh yeah I don't have to do anything like what am I stressing about <laughs> like it's not me <laughs> I was like really I don't need to you know I was even like making small talk with him because like the day before me and Andy found like a rattlesnake and so it's like you know Kenneth last night did you hear the story about me <laughs> finding a rattlesnake you know and he was like rah, rah. <laughs> not you know like making small talk it didn't work and then um yeah I finally remembered like oh yeah there's really nothing that I need to do like it, it felt so great that I can just again hand it over and I just just so clearly felt like this this hand on my shoulder like I got this really so clear like I got this you don't need to do anything I got this just let me in and I was like oh yes so I just fully surrendered and it was just so amazing to see what happened um like in the beginning we just we just started screaming like at least he started screaming at me and I was like wow I just looked at it and I was like wow this is me like this is my this is my anger here and I just screamed back and like I just pounded it on the on the keys and like maybe for ten minutes, like the keys almost I think it almost fell on the ground like that hard I was playing it like for ten minutes. Me and him we were just screaming at each other like wah and he was coming back wah wah and it was amazing just letting it all out and giving it space to be there. Like it's okay, you don't need to spiritualize this, just give space to what is present right now and then after maybe 10 minutes, it, it just slowed down and it softened and and, and, and he started to, to sing these, these sentences, you know, it's like just sing whatever comes up and I re repeat it and it started with, you know, I'm so angry and, and I'm so hurt and then it just, it just unraveled through this, I don't want to be in pain anymore and I don't want to be hurt anymore and I want a different way and I want to I wanna be loved, and I want to love again, and then to, I want to love and play again. And then, you know, before he was expressing, like, how how all these women that were crying during the expression session would make him so sick, and then <laughs> he would be like, why are they all crying? And then at this point, like, he himself, we were both just crying because just that shift of, oh, that's what I really want. I just want to love. I want to love and play again. And oh my God, that was just so amazing. It was so beautiful. It really, that inspired me just so much. And then, yeah, it was just to see that transformation and I had so much of those type of beautiful sessions where you could just see it happening in front of you. And yeah. Yeah, just like, yeah, for me, it just, it it's really, I feel so comfortable knowing that I really don't have to do anything. That feels really, really nice. I do feel like that the school was a great preparation to have, like, the tools in my little backpack that spirit can choose from. But then when I'm in, when I'm in the sessions, I notice that it's, it's nothing that I need to do. It's all just surrender and witness. And I feel like every person that I'm in a session with is me. Like it's it's just me. So it, it is. It does feel quite intense for myself as well. It's not like afterwards I'm like, yeah, okay. Let's, like I do feel like, wow, this was intense because it just feels like, yeah, every other person is me, which they are, of course, in a in a way. 
it's just yeah it's it's quite amazing still every time i'm doing a session it's it still surprises me what happened because it's a surprise for me every time as well i don't know what what spirit got in store for this person and so it's something different every time oh it's so beautiful nita it's just so so beautiful mm -hmm. and then yeah and, and also how because at the festival it won't be so much like one-on-one -on -one. um it's going to be more like the bigger group and and then at the heart song workshop mostly with groups but smaller that it, we've limited right. the numbers so that it does stay it does stay intimate but then right. but then even with that with what you're sharing um we were at the retreat together in france and uh, we've just got a couple of minutes left but yeah we were at the retreat in France and then I remember um, clearly where you said actually I don't feel to do one-on-ones like we had a whole week with a re yeah. you know, reasonably small group I think there were only about 20 yeah. of us there and you said no I actually feel I would rather do group sessions with everyone and um, and invite the healing you know within the group so that everyone benefits okay. from the healing and it was it was beautiful and just with those intimate groups it right. is you know that's what we experience even in the, the healing gatherings that we have the sessions um you know when someone opens up their heart and heals everyone receives yeah the same yeah healing. all minds are joined yeah like and even i even did at the session with you i did do some one-on-ones where everybody was witnessing right. and to just witness a one-on-one -on -one and to just you know, you can feel it. Like everybody that was witnessing, they themselves went through everything that the person that was doing the session was going through. So, yeah, all minds are joined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it will be amazing. Everybody should come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's just going to be. Yeah, I know. I'm already in it. I just feel, yeah, yeah. It just it's so beautiful. It's such a such a gift, and yeah, the yeah. whole festival it just feels like such a beautiful opportunity to to just really come and participate and be in this collaboration of all minds are joined. You know, where it's really about it's about our awakening and our relationship with God, and then like allowing ourselves to be just uplifted in that and in the presence. So. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. You're really looking forward to that. Oh, me too. Oh, well, thank you so much. I love you, Nita. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> and thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, I ha I wasn't watching all the text chats, but I will be reading through them afterwards and adding all my love yeah. arts because I really enjoyed that. <laughs> so, so thank you everyone for joining us and we'll share the links there if you'd like to um, come to the festival or Heart Song or both. You can actually come for 10 full days and come to both events if you'd like to. Thank for both. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there for both. For sure. So, that's beautiful. Okay, thank you. Lots of love. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>